Looks like we got some new Bronco news concerning both the Bronco Sport and the full-size Bronco. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Kevin, and before I get started, I'm gonna need you to go down there and smack that like button for me, and consider hitting that subscribe button if you wanna keep up on your Bronco news. Now, I'm gonna start with Bronco Sport first, and then dive into the full-size Bronco. So that being said, we got pictures of the Bronco Sport with a larger set of wheels and tires than would normally come from the factory. Now this one does have 17 by 7.5 inch wheels with BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2 tires measuring 245-65-17s. Now obviously these look a lot better than the smaller ones you would get on the base model or even the Badlands model. Speaking of, for comparison reasons, the base model comes with a 225-65-17 all-season tire and the Badlands model comes with a 235-65-17. So this is one size larger than the Badlands, and it shows, it really looks good. It's got a lot of sidewall to it. It makes it look a lot more off-road ready, a lot more menacing. And honestly, I just feel like this is the way it should look right out of the factory. I can only imagine how much better this would look with say, a couple two inch spacers giving it a little bit of lift and a little bit more wheel well gap that would look awesome honestly with this setup i had my doubts about the bronco sport but seeing it like this i don't think i would hesitate to buy one it's a good looking vehicle now let me know down in the comments what you think of the bronco sport now that we can see it with some aftermarket wheels and tires i think it does look a whole lot better i want to know what your thoughts are though does this change your perspective on the Bronco Sport? If, let's be honest, a lot of people are kind of shunning the Sport away uh, because of the Big Brother Bronco. But I don't think that the Bronco Sport is a bad looking vehicle at all. And this, I think, just kind of ups the ante a little bit more and proves that point. Now let's dip into that Big Brother Bronco. Speaking of, the Bronco is now said to be coming out with a very limited Heritage Edition. The thing is, we're not sure what it's gonna come equipped with or what it's gonna look like. We just know that it's coming. Now, Ford has confirmed that for 2022, there will be a Heritage Edition Bronco. Now, this is gonna be a limited edition model. Uh, it comes with the body codes E5G for the two-door advanced all-wheel drive Heritage Limited and the E5H for the four-door advanced all-wheel drive Heritage Limited. It says all-wheel drive, but I'm assuming it's going to be four-wheel drive. I've never even heard of an all-wheel drive option. So let's just think that's possibly a misprint or something. I don't know, but it's there. It says all-wheel drive. I'm not going to lie. Um, but that is pretty exciting. Maybe the Heritage Edition will come up with the older colors and maybe the white top, something like that. Just kind of give it a little bit of a throwback classic look more so than it already has. And then speaking of colors, that brings me to my final topic, and that is the color options for the Bronco come 2022. Now we pretty much have confirmation from Mike Levine saying that there is gonna be different colors coming out for the Bronco in 2022. Now someone had asked him in a tweet saying, I'm excited to order my Bronco. My biggest worry right now is the color. I want the cyber orange, but based on my res number, I'm expecting my MY22. Is cyber orange still gonna be a color option for 2022, or will it be a one-year option? Any unsure would be great, thanks. And Mike Levine himself replied with, not sure if cyber orange will still be available for 2022. New colors come in when others go out and there are new colors coming for 2022. So that's pretty exciting. We're gonna get some new colors for the Bronco in 2022. Um, it seems that there are gonna be some colors that are gonna be a one year only, obviously the launch year, and we're gonna get different colors coming in for the following year, which is pretty exciting because I was really hoping for some different brighter colors. Uh, I really want to see a green, like a dark forest green or a hunter green, something like that would look really good on the Bronco. I'm really excited for one of those. Hopefully they throw that in the mix, but we're just got to wait and see. So make sure you drop your comments down below on what you think of the new colors. What colors do you want to see come for the Bronco come 2022? Make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button for more Bronco content. And I'll catch you on the next upload.